Hey guys, Bryce Altis here, doctor of audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Oticon Connect Clip with your Oticon hearing aids, as well as how to use the Connect Clip as a remote control and remote microphone. The Connect Clip serves three main functions. The first one is it functions as a remote microphone. That means that the Connect Clip will send audio information wirelessly from the Connect Clip's microphone directly into your ears through your hearing aids. Secondly, the Connect Clip functions as a remote control, meaning that you can use the volume buttons or the multi button on the side of the Connect Clip to make adjustments in your hearing aids without having to fiddle with the buttons behind your ear or pull out your phone to make the adjustments through the app. And finally, the Connect Clip acts as an intermediary Bluetooth device, meaning that it can connect to other Bluetooth devices instead of just your hearing aids and transmit audio from those devices into your ears. So if it's connected to your smartphone, you can actually have hands-free phone calls if the Connect Clip is out and paired to your phone instead of having to have your phone out and talk into the bottom microphone. But it also allows you to connect your hearing aids to, say, a desktop computer or a tablet or other Bluetooth-enabled devices and send audio from those devices directly into your hearing aids. The Connect Clip is compatible with any receiver in the canal hearing aid, behind-the-ear hearing aid, or completely custom half-shell or full-shell hearing aid from Oticon that was released on or after the initial release of the open line of devices in 2016. If you have compatible hearing aids, or if you're thinking about getting some newer Oticon hearing aids, then consider this tutorial and setup video as your introduction to the world of Connect Clip capabilities. Without any further ado, let's get started with setting up the Connect Clip. This is the Connect Clip, and here are a couple of its key components. The small silver opening on the front of the device is the microphone port. This is where audio is picked up when using the Connect Clip in the remote microphone mode or the hands-free phone call mode. On the side of the Connect Clip, there are three buttons. The two smaller buttons are the plus and minus buttons, and the larger button is called the multi button. The multi button functions as the on-off switch, as well as the button that switches the Connect Clip between different modes. On the back of the Connect Clip, you will find the adjustable clip. This swivels side to side, and allows you to clip the connect clip onto different articles of clothing or onto the lanyards that come with the device. To the side of the connect clip, there are two indicator lights. When the connect clip is powered off, these lights will be off, but when you press and hold the multi button, you will see the lights become illuminated. I'll get to what each light and color means in a moment. And finally, at the end that is opposite to the indicator lights, you'll see the micro USB charging port. Your connect clip should also come with some additional supplies. It should come with two micro USB power cables, one for use with a wall outlet and one for use with a traditional USB port. The Connect Clip should come with two lanyards, one small and one large, and you should also get a soft silicone protective skin and a protective carrying pouch. Charging the devices with either the wall adapter or the USB cable is required, but the use of the rest of the supplies is completely optional. Now before we can use any of the features of the Connect Clip, we first need to wirelessly connect the Connect Clip to your hearing aids. To do this, start by turning your hearing aids off and ensure that the Connect Clip is also turned off. For devices using disposable batteries, simply open and close the battery door. For rechargeable devices, either press and hold the volume down button or the bottom rocker switch until you see a red or orange indicator light on the hearing aids. Next, turn your hearing aids back on. Every time you turn your hearing aids on, it puts them into pairing mode for about three minutes, meaning that we have three minutes to complete the connect clip pairing process. Next, turn the connect clip on. By pressing and holding the multi button for about three seconds, you'll start to see the indicator light in the connect clip now turn on and show solid green. You'll then see a blinking yellow indicator light on the connect clip, symbolizing that the connect clip is searching for hearing aids. Place your hearing aids and connect clip close together for this step, making sure that they are both within eight inches or so of each other. The connect clip will eventually switch from a blinking yellow light to a solid yellow light when it establishes a successful connection to your devices. Once you've connected the connect clip to your hearing aids, you can start taking advantage of two of the connect clip's main features. The first one being the remote control functionality, and the second one being the remote microphone functionality. The remote control features of the Connect Clip become available as soon as the Connect Clip is turned on and paired with your hearing aids. When turned on and paired, 
A short press of the plus or minus button on the side of the connect clip will raise or lower the volume in the hearing aids. While a long press of the plus button will cycle through your hearing aid programs, and a long press of the minus button will mute your hearing aids. To unmute, simply give the plus or minus button a short press. Now, let's go over the Connect Clip's remote microphone capabilities. If you're unfamiliar with what remote microphone technology does, it can dramatically improve your speech understanding ability, especially if things like masks, plexiglass, physical distance, or background noise are causing your speech understanding to be negatively affected. For example, if you're having a hard time hearing someone, you could have them walk directly up to your ear and speak directly into your hearing aid and that should improve the volume and clarity of that person's voice. But that's not always possible or even appropriate. Remote microphone technology accomplishes the same basic concept of increasing the volume and clarity of a speaker's voice by picking up their voice and transmitting the audio wirelessly from the connect clip into your ears through your hearing aids from a distance. To use the remote microphone feature on the connect clip, you need to first switch the connect clip on, wait until you see that the connect clip has established a connection with your hearing aids again, and then switch into the remote microphone mode by pressing and holding the multi button. Hold the button for approximately three seconds and you should see the indicator lights on the connect clip turn from a green and yellow to a solid magenta color. The connect clip is now in remote microphone mode and it will now send audio information that's picked up from its microphone directly into your ears through your hearing aids. In order to get the connect clip close to your communication partner's mouth, you can do it a couple different ways. You can use the clip on the back of the connect clip to simply clip it to the tie or a shirt or a blouse of your communication partner. You can use one of the included lanyards that come with the connect clip. You can clip it on like so and connect it and have them wear it similar to this. You can simply put it on the table if you're sitting at a restaurant, put it close to your communication partner or you can have your communication partner simply hold it and direct it and point it at their mouth. The closer the connect clip is to your communication partner's mouth, the clearer their voice is gonna be picked up by the microphone and sent into your hearing aids. As long as the microphone is pointing directly at their mouth and not covered by your hand or other articles of clothing, then you should start hearing their voice clearly into both of your hearing aids when you're in the correct mode. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about what the Connect Clip is capable of as far as being able to do hands-free phone calls and your ability to connect to other Bluetooth-enabled devices, be sure to look out for that future video where I go over the Connect Clip's other capabilities. But for today, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any ideas for future content that you want me to cover in a future video, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks.